Let's take a look what we got. Pick one, pack one, game one, the day. Sphinx versus a Juggernaut. Juggernaut did a lot of work for us last game, last time we played it. I can't say it was amazing, but it was playable. Sphinx is just good, consistently solidly good. Good morning. Hey, Silky. I think stream time is going to start this time most times now. My wife is getting me up too early these days. So I think we're going to just start an hour early. I think I'm going to update the schedule. I think we're going to start streaming on Wednesdays too. Just throw that out there. Well, we'll see about the Wednesday. Wednesday's still uh, in progress. All right. Sphinx Juggernaut. Tetsuko is even interesting. Not, not good, but interesting. I'm leaning towards Sphinx a little bit here. 5 3 for 4 is quite a bit of power. But not a lot of toughness. Being forced into attacking all the time is pretty brutal. Uh, let's grab the Sphinx. Sphinx can be splashed for it, even if you don't end up in those colors. Uh, really good ones in this pack. We're looking at a Surveyor, a second Sphinx, and a Naru. My thoughts on Juggernaut? I think I just expressed my thoughts on Juggernaut. He's a pretty big body, but three toughness is really pretty rough. Uh, four, four, three, three, flash. Other wizards get plus one, plus one. Is that better than Sphinx? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't think so. If we try to go the blue red like aggro wizard deck, maybe the other wizards getting plus one plus one is relevant. Let's try it. Let's try an early wizard lord. See how it treats us. Okay, um both the wizard and a aggressive creature. I'll pick the aggressive creature over the wizard. I'm gonna grab Shizik. Uh, Wizard's Retort or a Syncopate or a Blue Red White Flying Wizard. Don't really want to play White in this. Don't love Retort. The Wands here as well. It's a pretty solid White card. I'm not stuck playing Wizards. Although if we weren't playing Wizards, I'd really have preferred uh, fellowship expands. the Sphinx. Praise the sub. Hello, Chashi. Thank you for the sub. Welcome to the channel. Good morning to you. Uh, Syncopate versus Wizard's Retort. Syncopate burns me a lot. I'm going to grab the Wizard's Retort over the Syncopate. Try to get some Wizards to trigger it. Um, hey, Dive Venom. More filthy goodness. I'll take the 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. Take the Deep Freeze. I need to get some Wizards one day, but I'm not giving up Deep Freeze for a 3-2 Wizard. Another 4-4 four, for four, 4. Deck does not look very wizard heavy at the moment. That is a wizard. And that's a wizard. And that's divination. All of which I like. We have no 3s and no 2s. I feel like this is a pretty premium 2 though. I'm going to grab this guy. He's getting better. The more I play him, the more I like him. Oh, I'm glad, man. A pinch of salt. There's no salt in this stream. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, let's grab the Lava Runner, another wizard. Grab the Warlord's Fury. This card would be really good with Juggernaut. I was just thinking about that after I've drafted not that card. I'm like, ah, maybe I could play Warlord's Fury and Juggernaut and have first strike every turn on that guy. I'll take the Journey Mage, it's a 3-2 wizard. I will take Arcane Flight as a joke pick. Ha ha ha. Take the Land Destruction over the Fire Elemental. Take the Fire Elemental that no one wants. So where does that leave us? We've got a kind of mediocre wizard. Two, three bodies. All right, but not good. I'm going to take the second deep freeze here. A diligent excavator is an artificer, not a wizard. She looks like a wizard, but she's not. She's an archaeologist. Let's grab the deep freeze. Ew. Um, that's so slow. Best card here is the spider. 
but no way near near spider. I don't like Fervent Strike. Although it might be a one point combat trick that actually does something for us. Or we could just up our wizard count and hope we find something a little bit better. Let's do that. Take the 2 3 scholar. Be pretty unexcited about it. Blink of an eye versus Kelden Overseer. I like the Overseer. I'm going to grab Blink of an eye. Single pace worth talking about too, but I prefer Blink of an eye. Already got two Cyclopses, the rest is in weird colors. Third deep freeze, starting to be a little heavy on that. I might. There's no way I take first run amok over third deep freeze, right? Right. Problem is, like, our ground game is a ground game right now. Deep freeze kind of fucks up the ground game. Yeah, go cold. That sucks when that happens. What's going on, Russ? You play a creature that has flashed and it says pay one mana, sacrifice itself, and counter target spell that targets my... Wait, what? Can you tell me the creature that has flashed and says pay one mana, sacrifice itself, and counter target spell that targets my creature? Can I play the creature to counter spell in response to that spell? Uh, yeah, I think it can. No, a creature doesn't have to be on the field. It's just the order it goes on the stack. So because it's flash, it's an instant. So his his spell goes on the stack. Then your you flash into that, and your creature then can be sacrificed onto the top of that. No, you should be able to counter it. All right, let's grab the deep freeze. Deep freeze times three is about as high as I want to go with that. Got a radiated lightning, a champion of flame, and a divination. I've got no buff spells yet. Champion of flame can get out of control really quickly if you have a couple buff spells. It's pretty early. I could grab that. Another two drop isn't terrible. It's also a very good way to get two for one. Always a good way. I think I prefer the divination. Let's grab that. Arcanist for wizard count or an overseer. It's also a two drop. It also lets me cast divination cheaper. I'm going to grab the arcanist. Uh, opt, fire elemental or power shard. I'll take the opt. I might even play it. Probably not. Journey mage is another 3-2 wizard. Sure. This is looking like a kind of weak wizard deck. Say that a couple times quickly. I'm going to take the run amok here over the scholar. I like run amok. Second fervent strike seems aggressive. Goblin warchief, not very exciting here. There's no way I'm running two, two uh, fervent strikes. So, oh, I took Warlord's Fury, not fervent strike last time. Eh, I might run that. I'll take the fervent strike, drag it straight to sideboard. Third Cyclops, aggressive. Shield of the Realm, quite good with Cyclops, though. Let's grab that. Moral to War over Prospector. I'll take the Prospector in case of Siege Gang Commanders and an Armament. No deck master. Is that not running yet? Oh, let me fire that up. Thanks for pointing that out. I do forget that from time to time. Should be up now. Oh, that's not in my title either. All right, let's update that. Okay. Oh my god. I wish I was white. There's an Icy Manipulator of Shivan Fire in this one. I don't think I can pass Icy Manipulator. I don't think it really matters. Shivan Fire is removal, and I'm pretty low on removal. All I have is these deep freezes, but Icy Manipulator wins games, so... You think Shivan Fire easy? I think you're insane. I think Icy Manipulator is about seven times better than Shivan Fire. Um, Fervent Strike, Kelden Overseer, Calarian Scholar. So we have some shitty two drops, some mediocre three drops, some okay but not good four drops, and a five drop flyer. I think the reach on the Overseer would be nice. I'm forcing wizards here. I wish we had just instead taken the Sphinxes and not worried about this. Ooh, Goblin Barrage, Shizik, and Fiery Intervention. So, sorcery speed 4 for 4, or sorcery speed 5 for 5. I think we'll take the Goblin Barrage. Uh, a little bit close. Do we need another 3 drop? 2, 3, 4. Yeah, we kind of do. Let's grab the Wizard. You know what would have been really nice? To be offered something that did something with Wizards. That would have been great. 
There's a ship and fire. That's a really nice pickup at this stage. Yeah, like that guy. That's the guy I'm talking about. That's the card we've been wanting all game long. Let's take a Fire Fist Adept. G2 Chronicler is a great pick. It's both a wizard and a uh, recycler. I am going to grab the other G2 Chron Chronicler. We now have two. We've got Shiv and Fire, Blink of an Eye, and Divination, and Wizard's Retort, and Goblin Barrage as targetable things. I think a Chronicler is good. Journey Mage is fine. Nothing about this makes me happy. Do I want a third Scholar? Don't want a second Fervent Strike. So I guess that's a third Scholar. Fire Intervention Wield. Surprising. Take that. Got a Goblin we'll never use. Uh, we'll take... We have no... No historic permanence, so that's exciting. So I'll take the rescue. I have like one historic permanent. I'll take the prospector. Okay, deck looks pretty bad. Um, there are no big bombs in here. Our strongest card was our first pick, which was the Cloud Reader Sphinx. Our second pick was a wizard, and instead of the second Cloud Reader Sphinx, that's it. That's our flying creature live out is one flying Sphinx and a bunch of mediocre ground creatures with removal. Um, Icy Manipulator has to save our ass. Because the rest of this deck ain't going to do it. No bombs. No real answers to bombs. No mind controls. Deck makes me extremely sad. So let's build a deck that wins out of this. At least wins a couple times. What is our deck count at? 49. Creature counts at 19. Need 9 cards out. Opt is a primary one for that. I don't think we're fast enough to trigger Lava Runner as something useful. The Arcanist, Chroniclers, Blink of an Eye, Run Amok are all good. Shield of the Realm is questionable here. This many Scholars is over overkill. Overseer is a win condition. The Deep Freezes are our sources of removal, Divination. Uh, so cards I'm thinking about right now are Wizards Retort, Shield of the Realm. This is a lot of three drop Wizards. Could be talked into any or both of those. I don't want, I wish I could drag one at a time. Do I need three Rampaging Cyclopses? New. No. Uh, do I want a Shizix? I do. Do I want a Goblin Barrage? Yes. I want the top end removal too. So it looks like I'm probably cutting a chunk of this. Maybe one of each of these wizards. What do I prefer? Two damage to the face each time or some two, three blockers? I think I prefer three damage to the face each time. Let's drop the two Scholars. Deck's at 44 right now. I'm not worried that Deep Freeze will steal my land attacks. So I'm definitely worried that Deep Freeze will steal my land attacks. Definitely worried about that. But show me my show me my premium removal for dealing with the ridiculous bombs. How do I deal with like Tatyoiva? How do I deal with uh, any of the six? I gotta have the Deep Freezes. They're too powerful to give up. And there's too many bombs in this set to ignore. Don't worry, Shizik doesn't have a spot in here. I'm trying to get early early damage in with the. The wizards, including face damage, and then a little bit more damage with the ICs, and then reach via either our single flyer, or uh, or that's about it. Maybe I don't want cyclopses in this deck. I mean, the cyclops punches through those walls, the deep freeze walls. Although so do the journey mages with uh, Naru. I don't think shield has a spot here as much as I like it. I think it gives a lot of survivability to those journey mages. Three, four attackers that can't be gang blocked are really solid. Um, yeah. So Shizix feels like reach, but it might not be. Kind of has very low synergy with this deck, especially if our uh, board stalls out. It's one of our better cards, it's the only issue. So I need four out. So say I cut those. And that's two out.
Yeah, I quite like him too, Dire Venom. Particularly like shield. Sword's okay. This is really a five, not a four. These are only occasionally twos. Raven Strike on the Ogres can break my ice. The Ogre breaks the ice on its own, it's a zero four. Could I talk myself into breaking, cutting a, uh... I don't know. So I look at this, okay, so two twos, four twos is fine. Four threes that are playable as aggression seems fine. Then we move into fours. One of our fours is quite good. Buffs all of our dudes to make them pretty big. Cyclopses are decent. And then fives to kill them. I feel like Shiz Shizik might be a cut here. I'm also too many spell cards relative to car uh, creature cards. I think I'm cutting one deep freeze. Since I think it just has a little less value than the direct damage, Shivan fires, the direct, the divination, the blink of an eye, the run amok, the fiery intervention. I think I'm cutting Shizik. So I think that is what we're looking at right now. Got a lot of wizards to not be running wizards retort. But I gotta do something in the mid game. Hello, Gorby. How are you guys feeling about this slightly earlier start time? I know a lot of my viewers are not based out of the US, so this might not be too bad for you. But, uh, I'm kind of curious. Hello, Dizzy Rabbit. Doing well. Yeah, it's interesting. Shield would give us some reach with the, the goblin. Barrage, we actually do four damage target player. I'm doing well, Dizzy Rabbit, doing real well. 3 p.m. in Spain. Yeah, the, Euro the European viewers, not so bad for this. <laughs> Only 1 a.m. here in the Pacific. What, where the hell are you, Dire Venom? 4 p.m. in Moscow, and then someone else says it's uh, he barely sleeps at all. I, I'm a little jealous. Okay, so we have one, two, three pieces of removal, two quasi removal, and a blink. Can get our removal back twice for some value. Otherwise, it's wizards to the face all day long. So the questionable things for me are this overseer versus a Talarian Scholar, and whether or not Shizik should be in there. Like this is a, this sometimes steals games, it's stolen games versus me. Like the new start time. Rainy old day in England, it sounds like every day in England, but can't be a bad way to pass a day. Watching uh, Filthy Robot stream some magic. Isn't Warlord's Fury better removal than Blink of an Eye? No. Blink of an Eye is pretty premium. For two mana, you emergency deal with a early game fucking enchantment dude. And for four mana, you deal with whatever the hell you want as a tempo play that also removes enchantments and uh, draws you a card. Um, Blink of an Eye is really strong, TNC. New Zealand. Ah, I see. No, I'm not cutting any more creatures. I'm already down to 14 creatures, and some of my creatures aren't creatures I want to play early. Cyclopses are pretty good. I'd like to fit in shield here, but I run into the same problem I always run into. What am I going to remove? My spells are too good to pass up right now. I have really good spells here. Shiv and Fire, Blink of an Eye, uh, both Deep Freezes, Divination, Icy Manipulator as a non-creature spell, and Goblin Barrage are all too good to give up here. Fire your intervention's a little bit slow, but it is direct removal for things that are problems like big flyers, etc. 
One of the cards set for competitive draft will change. Um, there is a schedule. I think I have it somewhere. Let me see if I can pull that up. Uh, what the hell is it? That one? Uh, let me throw that in, I think. Uh, yeah, it's about maybe like, hold on, how far down the scroll is this? Oh, I can't see a scroll. Scroll down a little bit on this link here and you ought to see the schedule. So it looks like competitive draft uh, ends August or September 24th. Jesus, we've got a long time for competitive cast draft Dominaria. They're not planning on shifting that up, all, up at all, I guess. Weird. Too bad, I liked M19 a lot. So we're gonna be doing a lot of Dominaria, it sounds like. Well, that's all right. Okay, let's take a look. Good morning again, Brosiden. I see you're back at it this morning. You're like on the border of offensive trolling at the moment. It's just mildly amusing. If you keep it right there, it's probably perfect for the channel. No, we're not removing land. Removing land uh, is a consistency issue. And we have things we want to do on six and things we want to do on five, things we want to do. Yeah, I mean, this is really a five drop if you look at it that way. I think this is going to be okay. I'd love to get that wizard's retort in, but I don't see where I'm going to take away from it. And I'd love to get Shizix in. But again, what the fuck am I going to take out for that? I need some four drops, three drops rather, and I've got only four right now. Four twos, four threes, and three fours. Doesn't really feel like I can get Shizix out. I think it's between Shizix and Fiery Element, Fiery Intervention. I think most of the time Fiery Intervention is going to be better. So, okay. All right, let's check this out. Uh, how's the land looking? Eight, nine. I like a little bit more blue, I think. I have double blue on four, that's relevant. I have blue on two, that's relevant. Double blue on four again, that's relevant. So I think uh, I'm gonna cut one mountain for one island. And we'll call this one Filthy's Icy Heart, I think. All right, 